I can get this on here. Sorry about that. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get me started now. <laughs> 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 All right, now, get this on. There we go. They fit. All right. All right, now. <laughs> this all over again. They don't fit. They do not fit. No, no. Okay, now, this is us. This is us. You got that? This glove, this is you. It's you, it's me, individually, it's us. Okay, now, this is God. This is the devil. You got that? Now, you will notice. You see that? God, devil. Now, notice. Try this again. There we go. There we go. Now, right now, if I take this out of this glove... Now, what can that glove do? It'll just lay there. There it is. Isn't that right? Now, notice so. But if I put, now, what did I just do? I just added some life to this glove. Is that right? Now, this glove can do whatever the hand in it can do. Do you get that? So if God is in this hand, if God is in this glove, and this glove is you, now notice this hand, this glove, can do whatever this hand in this glove can do. Is that right? Yeah. But without the hand in the glove, the glove can do nothing. But with the hand in the glove, the glove can do whatever the hand can do. So what counts is what's in the glove. Is that right? Now, you no longer live. Notice it doesn't say you no longer exist. It says you no longer live. Right? But Christ, who lives in you. So what does that mean you can do? Whatever Christ could do. Is that right? Now, notice, last week I talked about Peter and how Peter had said that... Be sober and be vigilant because we have an adversary, the devil, that goes about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Is that right? And if you remember, I said Peter had firsthand knowledge of that, right? Because he was the one that Jesus was talking to when he said, get behind me, Satan. Because now notice just before that, Peter had said, you're the Christ, the son of the living God. Why? Because he was listening to, being filled with. Right? Receiving revelation from God. Then Jesus said, now i got to go die. Then Peter said, no, not going to do that. What does that mean? That means you can change from this to this that quick. Is that right? <clears throat> but now notice, now that also means that you can do whatever's, whatever, the glove can do whatever the, the hand can do in the glove. That means that whatever God can do, you can do, if he fills you. <clears throat> now, if that's not the case, then we have to understand that if this is not the case, then this is the case. Okay? Do, do you get that? Now, understand this. Get this. There is no this. Do you get that? If this were possible, we would not have needed Jesus. You got that? But since this isn't possible, that means that you're going to be filled with something. Yeah. And you get to decide what you're going to be filled with. God. Amen? Now, this is what, when I was driving down the road, he said, this is what he was showing me, and I saw the glove thing, the whole thing, and, <clears throat> and I'm, so I'm driving, and then I said it. And what I said that made the difference was, so... The, the glove can do whatever the hand in it can do. 
Now, so your job is to decide, <clears throat> you're the glove, who fills it? You get to decide that. And you decide it on a second by second basis. Do you get that? One second, oh, praise the Lord, blessed and highly favored. Oh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? It's too bad. It's had, everything's too bad. It, nothing can change it. Do you, do you get this? Yes. Yes. Now, hopefully you'll remember this. Because if you get a hold of this, I mean, starting now, your entire life can change. Why? Because greater is he that's in you Amen. than he that's in the world. Amen. Amen. This is who you are. This is you filled with him. Now, Jesus said, the works that I do shall he do also and greater. Do you get that? You say, well, well, what do you mean greater? Well, you have to remember, now we're fighting a defeated foe. See, he's not even a real problem anymore. He's only a problem when we look at him like the Israelites looked at the people in the promised land and said, oh, they're giants and we're just grasshoppers. See, that's the problem. Too many people think you're still grasshoppers. You still think, well, how how can I overcome? Well, you know, God may, he may not. Who knows what he's going to do? You want to know? Grab a Bible. The Bible will tell you what God has and will do. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. Sister, come on up. Right, we'll be right back. Amen.